Hi guys, it's Cassie and welcome to today's video. Today I'm here with Camden's seven month baby update. That's right, another month, another baby update. And you're gonna keep getting them every month until he's 12 months old. I like doing these updates every month, just mostly for me, so I can look back on them in the future and just kind of remember what this time period was like, but also for moms whose babies are around a similar age or if you're pregnant and kind of wondering what happens during different months, I talk a little bit about developmental milestones, what are routines like, so if you're interested in seeing what we've been up to this past month, then just keep on watching. This month has been different than any other month because we've spent the past month in quarantine. It has definitely been a challenge. Connor is considered an essential worker, however, his workplace is going down to a reduced model, so he hasn't been working full time, he just works on a rotation, so he works a couple of days every once in a while. So he's been home, so that's been nice because we've got to do a lot of bonding as a family of three. You can definitely tell Camden really appreciates having extra time with his dad, and Connor obviously loves being home. It's kind of like a second parental leave, which has been nice. Our routine is definitely all over the place because we're not leaving the house. You know, before we were going to you know, the library once a week and a drop-in play group once a week and we went to gymnastics once a week and we were getting out all of the time and although Camden is young and he doesn't really notice that things have changed, I definitely tell he's been a little bit more restless this past month and I don't know if it's from being stuck in the living room a lot. This past month, his weight gain has slowed, so he's obviously still gaining, but usually around this point, the weight gain does start to slow down. That's completely normal. It has to do with the fact that your baby's a lot more active and starting to move, and they're, you're introducing solids, and a lot of the times we're doing baby led weaning, so a lot of those foods aren't even being ingested. So it's a lot harder to monitor how much food they're actually eating, but it's okay as long as, you know, they're continuing to gain weight. So. He is still in a mixture of three to six and six to nine month clothing, depending on the brand. He's still in size three diapers. We, the big thing that happened this past month was we introduced solids. As I mentioned, we were doing baby led weaning. So baby led weaning, you wait until the baby is at least six months old. I will be doing a video on how to get started with baby led weaning in the future. So keep your eye out for that. Camden kind of struggled with it a little bit. He would get really frustrated when he would pick up food and it wouldn't quite go in his mouth as he planned. He's very finicky, I've noticed, about textures. He doesn't like being spoon-fed. So it has been a little bit of a challenge, but I'm glad that we did it this way because it feels more inclusive in terms that like he's eating dinner when we're eating dinner and I'm not sitting there and spoon-feeding him and he's kind of getting to play with textures and tastes and things like that. So some of his favorite foods I found this past month were Broccoli, zucchini, squash, yogurt, likes to toast, avocado is a big one. He hates eggs, he hates oatmeal, and so that's why I'm wondering if it's a texture issue. We also did have him have an allergic reaction to bananas, which was surprising. He has eczema, bananas caused a really bad skin flare up, he had rash all over his face and his neck and eventually his body. And so we have since introduced it to second time to see if he would have a reaction again, and he did. So, so far we are going to be putting bananas on the wayside and he will not be eating them, which sucks because bananas are such an easy food for baby led weaning because they can hold, you can, the banana acts as a handle if you keep the skin on or the peel and there's no preparation. You just take, you know, take the peel off and hand it to them. So, and he, he did like it, but obviously I don't want him to be uncomfortable from having these allergic reactions continuously. So no more banana. He is eating two meals a day, so we do breakfast and dinner. When we initially introduced solids, we did start out with purees for the first week. I just wanted him to get used to eating solids and swallowing, but like I said, he wasn't really interested in being spoon-fed. So then we switched to the baby led weaning. I was really nervous about the gagging. Gagging is completely normal response to a baby being introduced to solids, but I have a faint heart, so... That was my initial reason for wanting to start with the purees. We only did three jars of purees. So we did follow the guidelines and introduce one food at a time. And then once we were sure that there was no allergic reaction, we would introduce a new food. So for most foods, when they're not high allergens, we would just introduce a new food every other day. But things like eggs, peanut butter, we watched a little bit more closely. We don't have any known allergies in our family, but I don't know my family history. So that's kind of why we monitored it. The one thing was, my sister is lactose intolerant, so I kind of monitored the yogurt and cheese a little bit, but it doesn't seem to bother him so far. We've also been giving him water in a cup, and that's been going well. I find that helps prevent him from getting constipated. So 
overall, the first part of the journey was not so smooth, but now he looks forward to meal times and enjoys eating. And like I said, I'm gonna do a whole separate video on baby led weaning. This month, he was waking up one to two times a night to nurse. He went through a growth spurt at some point throughout this time. And then he would occasionally sleep through the night, but it wasn't consistent. Going to bed was a lot easier, which was really nice. Going down for naps was a lot easier, which was really nice, but he was still only napping for like a half an hour, 40 minutes. That was a challenge we just had to deal with. Some days he would have four naps, but a lot of the times he would fight that fourth nap. And at this point, they should be having three naps going down to two. And he just, he just seems to be a little bit behind there. He started army crawling this month, so dragging himself with his arms. He can get himself up onto his hands and knees and he kind of like rocks back and forth, but then he just collapses and drags himself with his arms. It's super cute. Another big thing that happened this month was he's actually babbling. So if you've been following along with Camden's development so far, when he was supposed to be cooing, he was grunting. When he was supposed to be babbling, he was cooing. And now he's finally just started babbling. So he says, ba, ba, ba and like ah da da he just kind of doing things on his own but it's really nice because he gets so excited and goes ba 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 and he looks so cute when he does it i'll see if i can find a video to put in he has been really playing and interacting with his toys i don't know if you can see back there we have like a little setup and he's got baskets of toys and he likes to dump them on the ground or digs through plays with the toy tosses it digs through gets another toy and we do that on repeat it's been really fun to just kind of watch him you know he's so intrigued with things and he loves putting things in his mouth and it's been fun to watch him play and interact and see him kind of develop preferences one thing that was really challenging this month was if Connor and I walked away and he could no longer see us, he would, it, it would cause a huge meltdown. So that has been a little bit challenging. It's been okay because we've both been home. However, at times when it's just been me, it's tough to cook or to do anything because he wants to be in my eyesight. Now it's not so bad because he can drag himself and if we're in the kitchen, he can like drag himself over to the kitchen, but at first, it was tough. I think that's everything. It's a pretty short and sweet update this month. There's not too much to talk about. Just like everybody I'm sure around the world is social distancing and staying home. We've been going out for walks daily. That's where Connor and Camden are right now. Connor will go for a walk daily. If the weather's nice, I will join for a walk. But if I wanna film or work on my blog, I normally stay behind. But yeah, it's just, it's been tough. We don't allow Camden to have screen time. However, he definitely FaceTimes family members a lot more often because we want him to be able to see them and, you know, not forget those faces and they want to see him. So that's kind of been a little bit of a challenge because I don't want him to get used to, you know, having access to a phone or an iPad, but these times call, you know, for us to do things a little bit differently. So I hope everybody is staying safe and staying healthy. And I hope you enjoyed today's quick little video. Until next time, bye guys.